Sometimes you have to choose which graph to use. If you want to show data by categories, then you usually use a bar graph. A circle graph or a pie chart shows parts of a total, and you usually use a line graph to show change over time. If 300 cookies are sold in the cafeteria, how many are sugar cookies? Well, we see the pink one is sugar cookies, so we know 23% of 300. So the one way to do it is to change your 23% to a decimal, so 0.23 times 300. That's the easiest way to do it if you have a calculator, but of course you can still work it out by hand. Watch your decimals. When you get your answer, there were two decimal places in the question, two in the answer, so we know it's 69 sugar cookies. Now you could have also set this up using fractions. In this case, it might have been a little easier to use your fractions if you don't have a calculator. So 23% of 300, well we know 23% really means 23 out of 100, and we're looking for how many out of 300. You can see this is really just three sets of 100, so that means you can multiply by three on the top, 23 times 3 is 69, and again, 69 sugar cookies. Looking at our favorite pets, if we want to find out the students who prefer cats, we would be comparing the kids who chose cats to all students, so total students. So we need to know cats, and here it is right here, 70, but we don't have the total, so we're going to have to total up all of our others and our dogs, and birds at 65. You can see they're counting by 10, so this had to be 65. And also this makes fish at 45. So you'll have to add all of those up to find the total. So the total is 325 votes. So now rather than just dividing 70 by 325, let's reduce this fraction. We could um, reduce by fives. So that would give us 70 divided by five is 14 and 5 goes into 325 65 times. So let's work that problem instead. 14 divided by 65. Remember the top dog gets the house, the, the numerator goes into the division box. When you divide you get 0.2153 which would be about 21.5 percent of the students prefer cats. You could also set this up with a proportion of 70 over 325 equals x over 100 and use cross products, but it, you'll end up doing this same division right here, so be sure to reduce first.